is not demanded by the truth or we are not doing the one he wants us to do. So that is the point. Say, my father, my God. My father, my God. By your manifestation. By your manifestation. As the spirit of truth. As the spirit of truth. I ask you for your mercy. I ask you for your mercy. To manifest on my behalf. To manifest on my behalf. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Spirit of truth. Spirit of truth. Guide me into all truth. Guide me into all truth. Reveal to me. Reveal to me. Whatever I am doing wrong. Whatever I am doing Contrary to your righteousness. Reveal to me. Whatever I am not doing. Which you want me to do. Holy Spirit. Spirit of truth. Guide me into all truth. Reveal to me whatever I am doing wrong. Which includes. What you want me to do that I'm not doing. Or what you don't want me to do which I'm doing. Spirit of truth reveal them to me. And help me to do the right thing. According to your righteousness. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer as the Lord leads you. I want you to pray that prayer with effectiveness and the sincerity of your spirit. Because the revelation of the spirit of truth to us, guiding us into the things we are doing wrong and moving to do the right things, is the game changer for us to be free from anything that is tormenting our life. Lekopa, Ikasa, Mekatampa, Kisiakampa. Pray, pray, pray. Kasiande la barati. Holy Spirit, my Father, reveal to me whatever I am doing wrong, contrary to your righteousness. You are the Spirit of truth, Lord. You are the truth that knows what I need to do to be free from the bondage of afflictions and infirmity. You are the truth that knows what I need to do to be free from the bondage and the torment of hardship you are the spirit of truth you know the things i'm doing wrong lord reveal them to me help me to do the right things holy spirit spirit of truth i pray on behalf of every one of your children here Pray, 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 pray. Let the Lord by the truth. Zegedegula, Bria Kanti, Zengeteli, Brakanteli, Yakate, Seketele, Brakotele, Baba. I don't want to walk contrary to your righteousness. Holy Spirit of truth. Reveal to me the truth of God, the truth of Christ. Expose any area of my life where I am doing what is wrong, contrary to your righteousness, contrary to the truth. Reveal to us, reveal to your children, Lord. Kabarante sekatale, brakatole ekata. You shall know the truth and the truth that you know in application shall make you free. Reveal to me that truth, O oh Lord, that I need to be free from the bondage, from this situation, from any torment of anything in my life contrary to your testimony. Pray, pray, pray. Let the Lord reveal to you whatever you are doing or have done wrong, contrary to the truth of Christ. E katambo lariande katale bra katele bo zakatele ba. E siango tale baragadi. Anything, Lord that your children that we have done or we are doing contrary to the truth of Christ making us being in captivity being in bondage of the 
things that are not supposed to be our testimony reveal to us reveal to your children lord leka prako seliam brakato leba esiango tale brakate se klaga di karabra kanto leba radia we thank you father we thank you father we thank you father Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I pray over you. Anything you have done, any decision you have taken, anything you are doing now, contrary to the truth of Christ, robbing you of the testimonies of your redemption may the lord by the mercies of god as the spirit of truth reveal to you that thing and help you from today to do the right thing in the name of our lord jesus christ Amen. father i pray for your children i pray for everyone oh god listening to you through the sound of my voice now that any area of their lives, any area where the testimonies of redemption is lacking in their life, that decision of what they have done or what they are about to do or what they are doing, robbing them of this breakthrough, Father, revealed by the Spirit of truth, that truth, and the correction required for the right thing, O oh God, for the testimonies to be established. I pray by your mercy to reveal upon your people, reveal upon your children now, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray the grace to constantly be for, to be before the spirit of truth, asking him to show and reveal to you whatever you are doing or have done contrary to the truth of Christ, so that you will have the right thing to do to move forward. May the grace to constantly seek and ask the Lord by the spirit of truth to reveal be released upon you now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. may the grace to continue in studying the teachings of Christ so that you can activate the spirit of truth to reveal to you the truth the grace to continue if you have not started to start with total determination on the studies of the teachings of Christ let that grace come upon you now by the message of God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. Father you said in your word that we come to your throne of grace that we will obtain your mercies and find grace to help in time of need Lord we need the truth in our life we need the revelation of the things we need to do according to your righteousness, according to your truth, in order to manifest the redemptive testimony you have given us. We need the light by the truth. And so, Father, upon this throne of grace, as you have taught us today from your word, may you grant grace to every one of your children to continue in studying the teachings of Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The tireless grace of studying the teachings of Christ continuously and seeking the truth from the spirit of truth. Receive that grace now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive that grace now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive that grace now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Stretch your two hands towards my hand now. Receive that grace now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now when I say receive that grace now, stretch your two hands on your screen towards my hands. And when I say receive that grace now, shout, I receive. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You carry those hands to your head and begin to pray as the Lord give you utterance. Get ready. Thank you, Father, for the grace. Thank you, Lord, that we come to your throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace in time of need. We need your truth, especially in these last days. With all what is happening into the world. Oh, my Father, 
I thank you, Father, for the release of your grace right now. By your mercy, I release upon your children that grace to continuously, tirelessly studying the teachings of Christ and seeking the truth by the spirit of truth in fellowship. Now I release that grace to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I release that grace to you now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I said receive. You have to pay attention to instructions. Release. I release that grace to you now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I receive it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Please, you have to be careful and pay attention. Emotions doesn't emotions without the truth cannot give you breakthrough. When 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 I'm saying something, you have to pay attention to those instructions. It's just, that's the problem which most times we have. We do not pay attention to listen to the instructions because we are too emotionally full up. I said when I release the grace to you, say I receive. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And lay your hands on your head and start praying. Okay. Some of you, you are already used to everything. Amen, amen. Now when an instruction is given, you can follow. And that is part of the truth. Because the truth is that instruction by the Spirit of God. Under a prophetic atmosphere like this, whatever I'm saying is as I'm hearing. So once you don't follow that instruction, you can be swimming in that emotion and praying and making noise. You will not get the thing. So we have to be very careful when we are under administration, especially under a prophetic unction, that every instruction is the truth we need. So we don't just pray beating the air, like Paul says. We are not just running like left to right. We are running as someone targeting to achieve the goal or the mark, the crown. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now I pray by the Spirit of God, by the mercies of God on behalf of God's people, on behalf of all of you listening to me now, listening to the voice of God through the sound of my voice. That grace to continue tirelessly in studying the teachings of Christ, seeking the spirit of truth for the truth to be guided at all times, the truth to walk in the righteousness of Christ, the righteousness of God. That grace now by the message of God, I release it to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive it! I receive, I receive, I receive it. it. Go ahead and put your hands on your head and begin to pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of the universe, kings of kings, Lord of lords, I come before your presence. Receive that grace. Receive that grace as you pray. Holy Spirit, Father, let that grace to study tirelessly the teachings of Christ and seeking you the spirit of truth for guidance into all truth that we will walk in the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. The grace is upon you right now. Receive that grace. Anando bakataliaba. Thank you, Father. Let the truth, Lord God, begin to In the mighty name of our Lord Amen. Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, we're going to pray in the same direction as the Lord is leading us. Let me again share this testimony. The spirit of truth working in the agreement with the word of truth. If you go to scriptures, you also see the word of truth, the word of truth. The word of truth is that teachings of Christ. He said it is those who continue in my teaching. The word of truth is not every scripture in the Bible. 
the word of truth is the word coming out from the mouth of the truth. The only truth that spoke any word in the Bible is Christ. And then other related aspect that agrees with that, which sometimes you have, does say the Lord. But any does says the Lord in the old, that is different from what the Lord said now. That one is no more the word of truth. So the spirit of truth must always be in agreement with the word of truth for there to be stability or else there will not be. This is why this prayer is very, very important for the grace of tireless studies of the teachings of Christ. Amen. It is that continuous because if the, there's a principle here, there's the word of truth plays a role as a static role. That's why Christ, when you receive Christ, you receive the Holy Spirit in a static form in the indwelling presence. It's seated. But when now they say you receive the Holy Spirit which is supposed to be filled of the Spirit, you receive the Holy Spirit in a dynamic present which is moving. So the Spirit moving has to land on the Spirit's stable for there to be stability of manifestation. So when there's no spirit stable, which is the same in the context, when there's no word of truth, the spirit of truth cannot have a place to reveal you any truth. And so that's why the studying, the, it is not just studying once continuous. It has to be, our spirit has to be saturated with the teachings of Christ. To activate the spirit of truth which is the spirit of Christ to be guiding us effectively so I pray that the Lord will continue to help us find that grace to continue tirelessly in the teachings of Christ in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. now we're going to pray this next prayer that I'm going to ask the Lord as we will pray to reveal to you that thing you need to do for that next level you have to enter in your redemption now you have prayed for him to show you what you are doing wrong probably as your spirit is open your mind is open even after today in your personal time all that time even in your sleep or your dreams when you get up you you probably certain things will come you know sometimes this situation let me first of all share this before i share the testimony that i wanted to a man of god was sharing in one of his books i read that there was a man having a guitar in a program a gospel program and the lord spoke to him to give that guitar to another person i think he described the guitar to be a white guitar or something okay i think it's a piano whether piano or a guitar but something now the, 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 the issue there is that the man did not give it he did not obey that voice see probably because it did not look like fire, thunder but why this other man that he was supposed to give him that piano when he prayed the Lord confirmed to him that he has answered his prayer and he has so now it took by the time another probably encounter or something that happened before this man now was able to open up to now go give that piano i don't know whether it's piano or guitar whichever one and the man of god asked him when did the lord put in your heart to give this to me he said a year ago question the blessings though he finally gave it anyway but there's a 12 month gap of blessings he would have activated since 12 months ago that is not activated do we agree yes. yes the breakthrough of that man is waiting for him to respond to that which the spirit of truth is asking him and this is what the Lord is now. That's why the Lord is bringing me to this testimony. Because I'm hearing the Lord is talking to many of you now. Many of you now listening to me. 
And I pray that even the Lord would send this particular instruction to anyone that will listen to this uh, message as you share it to others. Many, many of us, most of the times, it is on that particular condition of this testimony I'm, I'm sharing. If what was to be taken care of in that 12 months past was waiting for the activation of God's through him giving that gift, will that thing have been will that thing be taken care? Maybe if he was to take care of certain afflictions of sickness, the people would have died already. Yes. Though he is now obeying, let obedience is risky. Let obedience is almost no obedience. That's why we need to pray for the grace of instant, total obedience to every command and instruction of the Lord by the Spirit of truth. Because look at the example now. Whatever was to be addressed by the Spirit of God that needed him to activate that by that piano or that gift cannot be done. So after 12 years, maybe he's gone through the torment of that war. He goes and give it. The activation now starts. So many things may be able to be recovered. Some may not. Now listen and understand how this is related to another situation. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want you to know this because the Lord is now speaking to me clearly in clear prophetic terms of uh, the context of most of you listening to me the problems in your life that's why the answer is on knowing the truth applying the truth there is another man in this situation he was about to go to preach on a sunday morning i'm sure i've shared this before if i have shared it then just listen to it in again and be blessed hallelujah Amen. The man of God, the great man of God was going to climb to, to was going to minister on Sunday morning in his church and as he was praying the Lord spoke to him to get out and get one of his cars, suppose a new car or maybe one of his best to go and give it as a seat. I don't know whether to another man of God somewhere. Now this man of God according to the situation sat probably reasoning I'm going to preach very soon. Won't I just finish to preach before I will go and do that? But the urgency of the voice of the spirit of truth was strong. Thank God he listened. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now he went and gave that gift of that car and then he came preaching and then after he finished preaching, immediately they closed the church. Few minutes later, they got news from their village of one of his uncle who have died. And the question now is what killed the uncle? Ask that question. Say what killed the uncle? What killed, what killed the, the uncle? uncle? The truth that makes free. Made that man of God free and killed the uncle. Thank you God. Amen. Why? Because that uncle in dying was confessing what was killing him. Is the mm -hmm. truth. Mm. why would the truth kill him that means God's hand because he sent an arrow of death to strike that pastor on the altar while he will be preaching on that Sunday morning Lord Jesus wow. and the arrow went back naturally under the principle of back to sender <laughs> and I want you to know also before I finish this because the Holy Spirit is just quickening me I just finished a book uh, a fall for thy sake which is carrying the teaching operation back to sender by the harbinger of the last coming. Now, if you don't have it, try and get that book. It's already on now on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. That principle of operation back to sender especially now, is not, you don't pray it. If you pray it, it may even work against you. Mm. you the principle now is only waiting you doing the truth. It is the truth you apply. That pastor, that man of God applied the truth of the voice of the truth to go and give what they asked him. What the Holy Spirit asked him. Once he did that, he didn't even know anything whether an uncle is planning anything against him or doing whatever. The arrow sent by the uncle to strike him on the altar went back. What activated that operation is that gift. 
he was instructed to go and gift. There is always something the spirit of truth, that's why it's called the spirit of truth, would tell you to do for him to do something. Which if it's not done, he will not do anything. Amen, yes. If that man said, like this man of the piano or guitar, let me finish to preach. Did he know that his death sentence was, was targeted on the altar? No. Mm -mm. He would have finished preaching by the time they maybe they would just see the pastor drop down and mm -hmm. they will come and carry him before they hear. Mm -hmm. The news is everywhere. Newspaper will be very happy to carry those kind of news. Mm -hmm. Now, what would have killed the man if he disobeyed that voice? Yes. Let me ask you the question. Let me hear your answer. What do you think would have killed that man? Disobedience. Yeah, simple that's simple it's not the witch it's not the uncle it's not the power of the uncle mm. this is what is killing many of us many christians many believers i'm speaking like this somehow myself there are certain things god tells me to do i'm struggling because i'm trying to please certain people and i i, I suffer a lot of consequence to it a lot of things affecting my ability to fulfill my purpose and mission that I have clearly established from God's vision. Because I'm trying to please certain people. But it's risky. So look at that example now between this man of the piano and that man of the car. So we don't even know what in the case of the man of the piano whether certain things that were also life and death that would have been rescued Maybe certain thing around him might have died. We don't even know. So I pray that this prayer now for the grace of instant and total obedience to every command and instruction of the truth, which is the voice, the teachings of Christ, the voice of the truth by the teachings of Christ. We must take that serious. The truth makes free. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, on the other side, which is my own testimony, though I didn't really know much of this God then, but it is all this now was clear is the voice of the Spirit of Truth. Amen. I was preparing for an examination, which I have shared that testimony before, but it's important by the sense by the leading of the Spirit in this prayer and this direction. Now, imagine that case. You studying for an exam. You have prepared all the, what you have prepared. You have studied all what you have studied. And I was not alone. I was with a friend who was preparing. And then you woke up in the morning after you have finished all the revision and you are supposed to run to go and take a shower in order to now rush to class or to the examination hall. And the voice of the truth says, go back to so-so and so past questions and sit down and revise it again. First, does that make any sense? That voice is easy to be ignored. I don't know. I just thank God for his mercy that helped me to obey that voice that day. But there's even a possibility that the other friend that we are studying together would have also given an objection because we, time was not in our sight. But by obeying that voice, we do not care to go and hurry to go and take any shower to go anywhere. We sat there. We took that question, went through it with the answers which we have already revised. Now we, because now it's another, this one now is different. It's the voice of the truth. So there's an instruction that comes. So probably the way we studied before is different now. We went through it as if we were studying again everything from scratch. We finished and rushed after taking a shower rush to the examination hall as we sat in the hall immediately they brought the paper when we turned the question paper it was exactly that paper they just changed the year the truth that makes free that was the truth that makes me free from failing that exam to passing it or make us because the other person also had to pass now listen if I share some of you the implication that are concerned that particular exam, I'm saying you cannot pass it if the voice of the spirit of truth is not there. 
especially in Cameroon at that time. But you see, that's the truth that makes free. There is no thing in this life that the breakthrough, the answer you are looking is not just waiting the instruction from the spirit of truth. There's nothing. Everything is just an instruction. Generally, everything in this material life and physical life, as we pray to God, answer that prayer, most times to realize it, we we'll have to come with an instruction of what to do for the physical materialization. Somebody say amen. Amen. That's why the understanding of instant and total obedience is key. <laughs> Just imagine if I did not order, we did not, without my friend, let's say I even told him he started arguing and then I said, okay, let's just leave it and go to, and then we go and sit in the class, they bring it. We will still try to do it, but you see the accuracy and the speed and the assurance cannot be the same because that one now, after that manifestation, that my friend was running from his own hall because in the, in the campus, it, there was a fence so my hall was closer to the gate so when we finished writing his own hall was behind so he was, had to, was coming was running coming to me he had never imagined that kind of miracle now I turned and I told him and I said if truly somebody can ever pass this exam or this uh, entrance exam or in French they call it concours without giving bribe without having somebody in government minister director I said to him, I said, both of us must pass this entrance exam. And, but if, if any reason that both of us do not pass, I will never write that exam again. Now, where, where do you think that audacity to make such audacious statement? Because I can't even explain why I was, how I was. There was a spirit of the truth behind that voice of the truth which was obeyed. Because also that activated faith and put certain forces in, in check. When we wrote that exam, so many things happened. Actually, they already had the first result, which was the one that involved corruption. But the intervention of God caused confusion in the camp of the corrupt directors and all those ministers. So their, plan, their corruption was exposed and they were forced to go to the truth of the real results to establish the real successful candidate. That's how our names came. Now, do you think that all these things happening like that, that confusion, it happened like that the first time in that situation. And because of that, many things change. All that I believe, even because the way I even spoke to that, my friend, I know there was a spirit. But I believe that in whatever happened, maybe if some people also pray, it could be there. But I believe that all those things happening that happened to the situation that things finally came to our success was happening because of me or because of people that prayed also in my situation but if we just imagine ignore that even if you now wrote what you now saw because you have revised it you will be having your faith cannot stand because your faith will be questioning why didn't i why didn't we do this and then you now paralyze the hand of god for intervention but because the obedience to that voice, even when it was not conventional, there was confidence. And even at the point of close to before they were finally coming to get those results out, there were so many things the devil manipulated and sent some people to influence me, look for a way of looking for money for them to go and bribe somebody. Because all those things Satan was doing now is a way to soil my dependence on God for my faith to be interrupted uh. and I told the person I said no because the reason why would I be confident like that I this kind of manifestation cannot be normal if it's not God and because Amen. I play my part by obeying then there is no need to be concerned the God who saw it to manifest that kind of miracle won't, is it not too much powerful enough to make sure my name appear Amen. And as I told you people, there were a lot of dramas that happened. When we when that program, when that thing, when the whole thing came out and that program 
uh, we started that program. There were many, many people who wrote that entrance because it's an entrance to be recruited after you finish the program by the state. So that, there were people who came there to hold the, the directors that they gave money for their names to be put to give back their money. Because this time God has intervened. So those who gave money, their money probably must have, have to be, they have to lose their money. <coughs> but all that is only as an account of instant obedience to the voice of the truth. Lord, upon this throne of grace tonight, grant me the grace for total an instant obedience to every command and instruction of Christ. Lord, upon this throne of grace tonight, grant me the grace for total and instant obedience to the command and the instruction of Christ. That's the prayer point. I hope you get it. I hope you got it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You are going to ask the Lord, to grant you the grace for total and instant obedience to the command and instructions of Christ. The instruction of Christ is coming to us continuously by the Spirit, the Spirit of truth. The command are the things He established in the world. The ones we read, the ones we study, the ones we hear all the ability to obey them. Because it is that that is the meaning of knowing the truth. The knowing is by obeying, applying. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, my Father, my God. My Father, my God. By your mercy, by your mercy I, ask you, I ask you upon this your throne of grace. By your mercy, grant me the grace for total and instant obedience of every command an instruction of Christ. Every command. Every command. An instruction of the truth. An instruction. Oh Lord God, my Father. Oh Lord, my Father. From your throne of grace. From your throne of grace. By your mercy. By your mercy. Upon the blood of Jesus. Upon the blood of Jesus. Grant me the grace. Grant me the grace. For total and instant obedience to every command and instruction of Christ to every command and instruction of the spirit of truth in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ lift up your voice and pray that prayer pray with all the strength of your spirit leke pala parandia Lift up your voices and pray. Le kabaria de go seke palaba. Jeko tele brakandia increase that. Le ka ambra katele baria de gaseka talaba. Oh Lord my God, grant upon us the grace for total and instant obedience to every command and instruction of Christ. Grant us the grace of total and instant obedience to every commandment of our Lord Jesus Christ and every instruction of the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of Truth. My Father, my God, I ask by your mercy and your love to grant me, to grant your children, to grant us the grace for total and instant obedience to every commandment of our Lord Jesus Christ and every instruction of the voice of the Spirit of Truth. Oh Lord, my God, grant us the grace for total and instant obedience to every command and instruction of the truth in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ by the blood of our Lord Jesus. I thought somebody is praying that prayer. Lift up your voices and pray. Pray that prayer with all your heart, with all your strength. My Father, the grace of God. I need that grace for total and instant obedience to your commandments. I need that grace for total and instant obedience to the voice of the truth. I need that grace for total and instant obedience 
to the voice of the spirit of truth kada bando kase kata kabali kado kase kata kali baro kate kala baraba ah bakati ande balo kada pray le kapra koseli ande kala ba lift up your voice and pray lift up your voice and pray pray with all your spirit soul and body pray with all your heart your mind and your strength let there be sweat proving your determination for that grace kambalaria toko paradi ande kasa brakantele abrakotele anda parade ko seketele ba igesi anko tele brakadi akade gesekete brakati ande la katalo barade akade maradi akoseba thank you father thank you father for the grace of total and instant obedience to the voice of your spirit thank you father for the grace of total and instant obedience to every commandment of our lord jesus christ for us thank you father for the grace of total and instant obedience to the voice of the spirit of truth to walk in your righteousness thank you lord jesus thank you father thank you for direction help us oh god help us oh god help us oh god kambalaria takote bara e parando kosele brakantole 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 biancota e siancota e marande ka mriando lobra thank you father shakotele baragadiga shagadoga tekele baraba lord you have never left us in dark you said you will not leave us orphans you will not leave us without being there to comfort us you came by your spirit you established for us your word even in scriptures but lord we are not obeying we are stiff neck in our own ways lord have mercy upon us have mercy upon me my father help me oh god help us help me oh god help us ashinkatole barakatele maradiande katole brakantole bazekadega igalariande kalabra kade ande kalaba isio kotalebra thank you father in the mighty name of our lord jesus the christ amen i need you to understand that when i say pray with all your heart all your mind all your strength this is a very powerful scriptural truth anything you do with god it has to be measured of the balance equilibrium of your spirit and your body the commensurate of your engagement that your heart is in agreement with that thing must be proven by your emotional engagement of your body if there was anyone that needs to pray cold ice cream prayer it should have been the son of god jesus christ the lord himself who is the truth but yet of him is written He prayed until his sweat became like great drop of blood. Do you know what that means? And yet we say we are following him. And then when they tell us to pray, we are praying in a way that even our bodies can't even agree that we are praying. And yet we are expecting to carry the cross because that's the 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 the, the prayer of instant and total obedience is to carry the cross Christ was praying battling at Gethsemane of refusing to go to the cross but he needed to obey you don't break loose the body and the fleshly desires when there's no enough engagement it's not the one you do when there's a crowd to please people so i the what, what i'm sensing in the spirit is that most of you are still joking you are not even praying now let me ask us a question if that man for example for that car 
that was to obey instantly for some reason decided to say okay after church we'll do it and let's assume that the arrow did not strike him on the altar because sometimes some of arrow can still be like that and the motion will be in action in that case now after he now finished and go and give the gift later when the arrow already has already taken place even though he's still active the effect of it is in motion the spirit of god maybe if he's coming in now he's coming in through the window of mercy because there's already a disobedient of a late obedient and he may not even come in anymore because the window of that mercy may not be created even though he has gone and given now but even if he come in now maybe he may only try now to like heal the wound of the affliction that's why most of us have a lot of casualties spiritual casualties a lot of spiritual casualties because of late obedience even though we try to obey so maybe he wouldn't have even known what would have happened because the uncle would still be there and the target was that man in order to capture the sister from what was confessed is that the man was jealous that his brother's children are doing well that suppose the pastor and suppose the sister is married to one wealthy whether bishop or something and they are doing well so according to their uncle this man of god the pastor man is the main person behind the success of the siblings and so if we strike him now the window to strike the others will be very easy so sometimes the things god tells us to do which we don't do they don't only have effect on us they have effect on many people who could benefit what our obedience would have brought take for example also the, the friend I said we wrote that entrance examination with, he has written that exam, he wrote it before, the year before, and he did not succeed. Now, this year now, he succeeded, we succeeded together with me. What was the chances? If I disobeyed that instruction, I would not only have been the one to fail, even that person who benefited to now pass, who failed last year would have also failed. You see, the effect of obeying God doesn't end only with you. Others benefit from it. It means the consequence of disobeying and not paying time also affects many others. That's why we have to take these prayers very serious. Hallelujah. Amen. It was said of Christ in the book of Hebrew. After he has offered prayers with vehement cries. You, you see those kind of description? So whenever we pray, most of the prayers do not go anywhere. For any prayer to make effect, listen to this revelation and this mystery that the Lord showed me. If your body is not in agreement with your soul, forget. Don't wait for any God to answer any of that prayer. Is already answered there. Because how can two work together except they do what? They agree. For any manifestation of whatever we pray, it comes from the spirit to manifest in the physical. Your body is the physical, or is the landlord in the physical. Your spirit, that's why you have a spirit body which is called the soul. The totality of your spirit man is called the soul. Not just the soul in terms of the mind which Paul described. The soul which Christ talked about. What will it profit a man to gain the whole and lose his soul? The whole of your spirit man. That your spirit body must be in agreement with your physical body. For anything to happen about your life in this life. Or else that will never work. And the expression of the body is the emotions. And the expression of your spirit man is the agreement of the determination in your heart. So that is why even the Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ, was not praying ice cream kind of prayers. It is true that some emotional prayers, when they are contrary to the truth of Christ, 
they are dangerous because that one is discharging a lot of negative energy against you without knowing but the emotion is needed for positive energy if the positive prayer point is there and the emotion is not enough it delays if it will ever be answered and it can also be stopped because the more you emotionally release vocal power to the prayer the faster you activate it in manifestation so that is part of the revelation that the lord showed me anything we do when you are so your spirit man is not in agreement which is your heart and your body it can never ever manifest because the two must work together must agree amen amen hallelujah amen amen so now as we have understood some of this i want you now to now move to the next prayer which we are going to pray asking the lord what is that thing i need to do to move to my new level of redemptive blessing what is that thing i need to do to come out of that bondage what is that thing i need to do you are not asking specific revelation of what you need to do we have prayed the one for him to show us what we are doing wrong we have prayed for the grace of obedience the grace to study what now we want to pray because every breakthrough is waiting for something you must do if you have already followed god's word or follow god's ways there is always an instruction if that man did not give the car, he will not have that breakthrough from the arrows of death. Sometimes the Lord tells us things to do which we don't even understand. It may, you don't even see anything around why you should do it. But with that kind of spirit and determination to obey, once you get it clear, when you are hearing anything, like I always advise people, if you pray on something as i said and you are having a thought coming to do something go ahead and do it as well as doing that thing will not cost you or will not you will not you will not lost anything or it will not kill you do it because if that is the instruction you have just obeyed if that's not an instruction from the truth even though it's not from the truth but you did it you will not lose anything but the chances is that the chance is that when you have prayed and you are having thoughts like that and you don't do it, it will be it. Even sometimes you have not even prayed when you have these instructions. It's important to do them because some of the prayers we are praying even in the spirit, they fall in that framework of the things that the spirit of God already is responding on our behalf and start telling us what we must do on our part in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Why would God go to Abraham and be telling him that he wants to go and destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Because he has to reveal it to his servant. The reason for that question is beyond that revealing anything to his servant. God doesn't owe any servant to reveal anything. The question is why will he have to reveal it to the servant? It's because Abraham could decide could intercede for that not to happen so what god is saying to you now when we are going to pray this prayer for what you need to do it's not only going to be based on you alone some things god will come and show you even in your dream something god will reveal to you and if you don't take serious is the reason he's bringing it to you is because there's something you have to do for his agenda to be fulfilled or for something good to happen or to avert something which is negative if god doesn't need you and me to do something on anything he doesn't need to tell us those things so that's why there are certain things god will reveal to us will tell us to do not because we prayed but because what he's not telling us like he's showing you something in the dream is something that your prayer can now be what is used by the power of God to actually stop the agenda of what is not good 
or what is of the devil or bring what God wants. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you want to take this prayer and pray it very seriously. Say, my father, my God. My father, my God. My Father, my God. My Father, my God. I ask you by your mercy. I ask you by your mercy. And the manifestation of the Spirit of Truth. And the manifestation of the Spirit of Truth. To reveal to me that which I need to do. To reveal to me that which I need to do. In, to, in order to enter. In order to enter. My new level. My new level. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name my of our Lord Jesus Christ. My Father, my God. My Father, my God. By your mercy and your love. By your mercy, by your mercy and your love. And by the spirit of truth. And by the, by the spirit of truth. truth. Reveal to me that which I need to do. Reveal to me that which I need to do. In order to enter my new level. In order to enter my new level of my redemptive blessings. Of my redemptive blessings. Reveal to me by the spirit of truth. Reveal to me by the spirit of truth. What I need to do. What I need to what I need to do. To cancel the plan and the agenda of the devil. To cancel the plan and the agenda of the devil. Against my life. Against, against my life, life or against my loved ones or against, or against my loved ones in the name of our lord jesus christ in the name, in the name of, of our lord, lord jesus christ. go ahead and lift up your voice and pray that prayer lift up your voice and pray father reveal to your to us what we need to do oh god reveal to me what i need to do to enter my new level of your redemptive blessings reveal to me what i need to do for my next level of promotion Reveal to me what I need to do for my next breakthrough, Lord. Reveal to me that which I need to do to stop, cancel, nullify the plan, the operation, the works, and the agenda of the devil against my loved ones or against your people. Babalea, Barakate Lea Bracandia Casiliba, E Bracate Le Barada, Masia Candeliba, E Cambra Catelia de Calabra Casilia Bra, O Secetandia Catale, Bracantole Bracate Gazocotelia Baradaba, E Sian de Cotele Bracadian Gazeketa. Imala Bracati, Legara Braca Sekeli and de Cala, Egala Ambracati and de Casecala, Bracati Leba, Eriande, Casotole, Bracato, Secle Caparadia Cateleba. Oh, yes, Father, thank you, Lord. Esia Cotem Balaba, Mananian no Catene Gada, Embracatalo, Bracasse. Mananian no kote baba iya soton de kate da barante kata e gara brako sele ande kata marande akle gada abrako sele ambrakase ize akantole brakadia eka handa bria kotele brakatele akandi ande lereba elia akambra kle lereba. Esia Angadia Klega Brakote and the Laraba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We ask you to be the living God, work with Him only. Give us the grace, grace to be the living God, work with Him only. We ask you to be the living God, work with Him only. Give us the grace, grace to be the living God, work with Him only. We ask you to be the living God, work with Him only. Ili andi galabara gadi andi galara bara gadi gadia. Isi ango de galabara katuli anda galaga bara dia. Usi gede gele gadi andi galaga dia. Sukote kaba spirit of truth. Guide us, reveal to us what we need to do, O God. Isi andu katali anda bara. Isi akandi la bara te katia. 
Ilianda kabra kato sekle gara ambra kate lia. Isi angadi gidi ako sekita. Ilambra kato libra kadia ndikata. Isi agadu. Holy Spirit Father. Reveal, reveal, reveal to us spirit of truth. What we need to do. What I need to do to enter my new level of your redemptive blessings to enter my next level of promotion to get the breakthrough oh god isiande katali brakantili isiangotele brakandili akata baranti akli katali bra zikutili ba thank you father in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ Hallelujah. Amen. Those of you who are on the Zoom, anybody, now that is prayer time, anybody who knows that you are in a background where there's no noise in your background, I would prefer you to remove your uh, device, remove it from mute so that I get your feedback as you pray. Except if you are in a place where there is noise in the background, then in that case you can leave it on. But if you are in a place where there is no noise in the background or no interruption from your device, I would prefer you to be active because I need to get your response while I minister. Hallelujah. Amen. Now this other next prayer, we are going to pray it. When I leave you the prayer point, Pray and clap your hands continuously as you pray. Mm. The Bible says the battle of the warrior is full of noises. Mm. And in Psalms 47, mm. from verse 1, it says, Oh, clap your hands, you people. Yes. Shout with a voice of triumph. The clap mm. and the shout is a noise when it's needed for battle of warfare. Because sometimes it is that clap and that noise that empower the angels who are there to do the voice of the word of God. Yes. The word of God is to be voiced by our voice for the angels to be empowered to move to do it. Now, in Isaiah 54 verse 17, God speaking. He said they shall surely gather that's a verdict from Jehovah. Yes, Lord. You can't stop them from gathering. Because the license is given to them. It's acknowledged by Jehovah that they are surely going to gather. Which means God allows them to gather. Yes. They must gather to plot their devices. Mm -hmm. They must gather to plan and write names of their attack. They have gathered in their covens at this hour. They have gathered in their meetings. The Lord said the problem is not their gathering. Don't bother about their gathering. Amen. The Lord said don't bother about scattering their gathering because I have said they shall surely gather. So if you try to say you are going to scatter the gathering, you are wasting your time. Yes. But the Lord said I have appointed the blacksmith that I empowered him to make the weapons and the tools. So even the weapons they will use, God also will use them against them. Amen. But he told yes. you what to do in verse 17. He said, every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Question. Was he talking about you going to meet somebody physical and condemn him as he's speaking against you? No. Because he's first of all said they shall gather. So where they are gathering, are you going to be in their gathering? That already no. tells you that he's talking about enchantment, incantations, and divinations. And then he now said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, but every tongue that rises up against you in judgment shall condemn. What does that tell you? It means the weapons they are sending, they send it with true tongues. Mm. Yes. They, do you see anybody carrying a machine gun to come and shoot you with a psychic poison? No. So how did he shoot it? 
He uses the tongue. He uses his mouth. That's why the Bible said death and life is in the power of the tongue. He uses his mouth to shoot the arrow against you. You cannot close your mouth and be free from it. He said they shall surely gather together so you cannot stop them from gathering. Every night they are gathering. Your name is in their list. But their gathering is not the issue with God. God is only waiting you to obey his command and instruction. He said the weapons will do nothing against you of their gathering if only you silence every voice, every tongue. So you're going to pray. Every voice from any tongue of evil. Every voice against the will of God for you, for your family and loved ones, for your nation and the kingdom of God. Let them now be silenced by the voice of the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Say, my Father, my God. Father, my Father, God. My God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As I pray now. As I pray now. Let every tongue. Let every tongue. That shall rise against me in judgment. That shall rise against me in judgment. Or every tongue. Or every tongue. That has risen against me in judgment. That has risen against me in judgment. Be condemned now. Be condemned now. I condemn. I condemn. Every tongue. Every tongue. Rising against me in judgment. Rising against me in judgment. I condemn them in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I condemn them in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the voice of the blood of sprinkling. By the voice of the blood of sprinkling. Let every voice of evil from any tongue rising against the will of God concerning my life, concerning my loved ones, concerning my nation, let every voice from any tongue against the will of God be silenced, be silenced. Be silence. Be silence. Be silence. Be silence. Be silence. By the voice of the blood of sprinkling. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer point. Pray and clap your hands. Every tongue and every voice rising against the will of God concerning me. Be silenced now by the voice of the blood of Jesus. Be silence, be silence, be silence, be silence, be silence. You voices of evil, you voices against the will of God from any evil altar. Be silence, be silence, be silence. Rako pakatale kaparandia. Let every voice and every tongue that has risen against you in judgment, I condemn every tongue. Speaking evil, speaking contrary to the will of God against me. I condemn that tongue now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus, my Father, I condemn every tongue speaking against the will of God for my life. I condemn the tongue of enchantment. I condemn the tongue of divination, incantation. I condemn the tongues of demonic psychic arrows and weapons every tongue firing weapons against me i condemn condemn i condemn in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus the Christ. 
pray, Father, by your mercy. I In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. Now, I want every one of you to take your Bible and open to that Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. Yes. Everybody, open your Bible. I want you to open your Bible to that Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. Okay. Now I'm going to get you all will read it in the chorus, or when I say read, you read, and I will need you to read it out loud. Now listen and understand. There are certain things weapon formed yes. by God by the gathering of the devil and his network. Because the Lord says they shall surely gather. So we cannot know better than God. He said they shall surely. Mm. He didn't say they may. It's not a conditional statement. It's not they may gather. He said they shall surely. So if God said they will gather, that's enough. But he said they shall surely. That's too much. Mm. Too much for you to know is real. But he said, though they gather, no weapon formed against you shall what? And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Not your pastor, not your prophet. That means certain gatherings are gathering primarily to do what? Form weapons against who? Me. And the only person who has to make them not prosper is the one that will condemn the tongues because they are using the tongues to form the weapons and he said this is the heritage of the servant of the lord which you are and it's your vindication of the lord so i want you now to read that scripture get ready isaiah 54 verse 17 one two read no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and the righteousness from me, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, remember, we have prayed for the Spirit of Truth to guide us. And so, this prayer point I'm bringing is from the voice of the spirit of truth because there are weapons formed against you now listen i want you to read that Isaiah 54 again and then replace the you with me my this is the heritage of the servant so personify it every place that means no weapon formed against you, no weapon formed against me. Every tongue that rises up a judgment against me, I condemn. This is my heritage. So now read it with personification. One, two, in the name of Jesus, read. No, no weapon, weapon formed against, against me shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against, against me in judgment, I shall condemn. This, this is my heritage, heritage of, of the Lord. Lord. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. And this is the of the servant of the Lord. And this is the meditation of me. The clear God. I translate the Lord. The Lord. My in our man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now you're going to pray and begin to condemn every tongue forming weapons against me. I condemn now by the blood of Jesus. You condemn. Anyway. Say loud and clear by the blood of Jesus. By the, by the blood, blood of, of Jesus. Jesus. Remember when I leave you with this prayer, you pray and clap your hands until you sweat. By the eyes of the prophetic now, I see many weapons formed against you. And under this anointing from the throne of grace, 
You are the voice of condemning those tongues. The weapons will not prosper. Amen. Those Amen. weapons will not succeed. Amen. So I want you to take it loud and clear. And when I leave you, pray and clap your hand effectively. Say by the power in the blood of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus. I condemn. I condemn. Every tongue. Every tongue. Forming weapons against me. Forming weapons against me. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I condemn. I condemn. Every tongue. Every tongue. Of enchantment. Of enchantment. Forming weapons. Forming weapons against the will of God. Against the will of God. For my life. For my life. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I condemn every tongue. I condemn every tongue. Forming weapons against me. Forming weapons against me. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and condemn those tongues, weapons. Condemn every weapon from any tongue formed against you. I condemn every tongue and their weapons formed against me. I condemn every weapon, every tongue and any weapon formed against me. I condemn them and I declare they shall not prosper. Every weapon formed against me shall not prosper. I condemn every tongue forming the weapons in the name of the Lord Jesus. By the voice of the blood of Jesus. Let every voice from any altar, every evil voice, be silenced, 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 be silenced. Lambro Catele, Dagadego, Dagalega, Dagalega, Dagalaga, Dagaloga, Isiando Catala Baragadega, Lagadia, Prianco Tele Baragade. Esiando Gate Zakatone Baraka Emanata Kande Cambraco Tele Case Catele Isiando Gate Bracanto Re Barante Carade Isia Cotele Baraba Esiando Galaga de Galaga de Galagadea Condemn them, condemn them, condemn them, condemn them. Every tongue forming weapons against me, I condemn you now. I condemn you tongues of enchantment, incantation, forming weapons of psychic, forming psychic, demonic, satanic weapon. Condemn. Kalaba, rote ke paraba, zonde kapariaba. Iako parande katalia. Sia gadogale gade, klade katale. Isa Catalera Bracotele Abra Era Caterian Bracotele and the Gabaradia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Father. Anama note Sekanda in the Catado Barade Catare Igede Gade Cate. Igada gade angeda Elia andele kra abra agadia andele rabra kandi andele reba In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus the Christ Let your amen roar like thunder Amen A more louder Amen Amen, amen. Now the Spirit of God, by this voice of the Spirit of Truth, is directing me. Now we are going to pray to silence the voices empowering the devourer against your finances. Amen. Amen. I see people, finances, carried wind, broom. I see broom and wind huh. sweeping and blowing away money that is a devourer in action but the lord said there is a voice from a tongue from an altar by the gathering that is empowering that 
So we're going to pray this prayer first. You must confess and repent if you are not faithful in tight. You don't have the power for the devourer to be rebuked if you are a victim of not being faithful in tight. Secondly, we already know what tight is. 10% of whatever you receive. And your tight primarily goes to where you are main source of being fed. Primarily if you are submitting to a father in the Lord or wherever you are source being fed for food. But primarily I advise people always to pray for the Lord to lead you. If you been doing it even now you ask god to forgive you and determine to start the lord jesus said give to caesar what belong to caesar he said give to caesars the things that are caesar what was the things they were asking tax that means give to caesar the things the tax of caesar and give to god the things of god what was that mean it means there is a tax of god which is what is called the word tax and tied in english language it's coincidence similarity so this is what the lord is saying no problem for not being faithful just ask the lord to forgive you repent and be determined to now start and then you're going to pray this prayer so i leave you now to take your own time in your heart between you and god tell him father forgive me for not being faithful some of you are doing it but once in a while when it's convenient for you it's an act of obedience. It's not an act you do when it's convenient. Because if you disobey, you're empowering the devourer to devour. And the hand of the Lord will not rebuke the devourer even when you pray. I've already explained that to us time and again. The devourer does not move. The devil doesn't move to devour anyone. He looks for those he will devour. Because it is only those who the devourer cannot be rebuked. So when you are praying this prayer, what I'm seeing will stop if you still remain unfaithful in obeying that important command of God. That's an act that did not start with the law. It started since. From. Also number two. The Lord said through Paul, if they have ministered to us of their spiritual things, we ought to minister to them of our substance. In summary, we owe to minister to them of our material money things. Which means it is not wise to be blessed spiritually by the word of God. By ministration. And not do something with your substance of your material monetary things. Because there are only few clauses in the Bible where they say we owe in the New Testament. One, we owe love. The other one, we owe to minister back to them of our money or material substance. So, these are two things that are important as we pray the next prayer point. So, talk to God. And especially the things you know, sometimes the Lord told you to do, you didn't do. Ask the Lord for mercy. Ask him for mercy in any area you have not been faithful in your tithes and offerings. Whatever the Lord tells you to do, you do not do. It's the same disobedience like you are owing. Whenever you are blessed of material, spirit, spiritual things, if you have the opportunity to relate with his wisdom to give back so that the God of that minister will supply, will guarantee the supply of all your need. You can't claim the God of a man of God. The God of that minister to supply all your need if you do not minister to him of your substance of your material financial substance in the name of our lord jesus christ Amen. may the mercies of god grant your forgiveness as you have repent and may the Lord grant you grace to begin to do the right thing now, henceforth, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ.
Say loud and clear. Let the wind of God. Let the wind of God. The wind of God. Blow back to my bosom. Blow back to my bosom. And restore all my stolen wealth. And restore all my stolen wealth. Wind of the Lord God Almighty. Wind of the Lord God Almighty. Thou is wind of the Lord God Almighty. Thou is wind of the Lord God Almighty. That blow open the Red Sea. Blow and restore back to me now. Blow and restore back to me now. All my stolen blessings. All my stolen blessings. Blow and restore back to me now. Blow and restore back to me now. All my stolen wealth. All my stolen wealth. All my stolen monies. All my stolen monies. All my stolen riches. All my stolen riches. Wind of the Lord God Almighty. Mighty, wind of the Lord God Almighty, that blown open the Red Sea. I command you, wind of the Almighty, to blow back into my bosom and restore to me now all my wealth. All my monies, all my finances, all my riches, all my blessings that has been stolen, restore them back to me now. Wind of the Almighty, restore them back to me now by the blood of Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Clap your hands as you make that declaration. Pray and clap your hands. Let the wind of the Almighty blow back to your bosom all your stolen world. Wind of the Almighty Jehovah God. The wind that blow open the Red Sea. The wind that blow open the Red Sea. Blow now and restore back to my bosom. Blow now and restore back to my account all my finances that has been stolen, all my riches that has been stolen, all my wealth that has been stolen, all my blessing that has been stolen. Blow back to the bosom, to the account, to the warehouse of God's people, all the riches, all the blessings, all the wealth that has been stolen from God's people, that has been stolen from me, that has been stolen from my family, all the hidden riches, hidden wealth. Pray and clap your hands. Pray and clap your hands. Let the wind blow by your clap. Let the wind blow by the voice of your mouth. Let the wind blow by the power in the blood of Jesus. Zeke Taka Para. Yes, 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 yes. The wind is blowing. The wind is blowing. The wind is blowing. Let it blow. Let it blow. And restore back to your bosom. Let it blow. Let it blow. Let it blow. And restore back to our bank accounts. To our credit cards. To our debit cards to our storehouses all our blessings all what has been stolen from us kabarante akapakatalia kaparadia eshakatalera baragadia all unnecessary expenditure in medical bills we of the almighty blow back to my account blow back restore to me restore to god's people all my monies that has been stolen through medical bills all my monies that has been stolen through manipulations all my finances that has been stolen through deceptions we of the almighty blow 
them back to my warehouse. Blow them back to my storehouse. Blow them back to my bank account. Blow them back to my family. Blow them back. Blow them back to God's people. My money is to advance the gospel of Christ. My money belongs to me and Jehovah God. Oh Lord my God, as you have called me to advance your gospel, let my money not go again for sicknesses. Let my money not go again for medical bills and medication. Pray, pray, pray. Let the wind blow. Let the wind blow through your voice. Let the wind blow through your voice. Let the angels move and blow the wind. Whatever belongs to you that has been stolen, the east wind of God is stronger. If you could blow, open the Red Sea. The wind that blow, open the Red Sea, will blow open all that block your blessings. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord God Almighty by his mercy. He's saying, let me tell you as he's speaking to me, to tell you now that all those unnecessary expenditure on medical bills Amen. as a result of affliction of the devil, the east wind of God that blowed upon the Red Sea, blow back to your account all your finances stolen through medical expenses. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let your amen roar like thunder. Amen. That your amen is very provocative. Amen. All unnecessary expenditure. The same wind that blow open the Red Sea. The east wind of God from the spirit to the physical to the material blow every of your finances that has been stolen through unnecessary expenditure medically i ask the wind to blow them back to your accounts i ask the wind to blow them back to your bosom i ask the wind of god almighty to blow them back to your hands receive them back in the name of our lord jesus christ Receive them back in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive them back in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I activate the word of faith for divine healing and divine health. I activate Amen. the word of faith for divine healing and divine health upon you. Receive that grace for the word of faith to walk in divine health. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You are money. Our money is, is meant to advance the gospel. When you put it for the cause of the gospel, the Lord will not allow the devourer to devour it through medical expenses anymore. But by the word of faith, the Lord will give you divine healing and divine wholeness. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead and begin to give God thanks. Thank Him. Thank him for the wind of the Almighty blowing back to you. Whatever has been stolen from you, all the finances stolen from you through manipulation, through financial institutional manipulation and corruption, through unnecessary medical expenses. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father Almighty. Thank you, Lord. Amana note eteketa para tokete peleridi andu kutaba. Father, we thank you. Thank you for the restoration. Seketo ko para yande. 
Esianga tole barakade. Iniana kotele barakadia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Father, for the healing anointing. Thank you for the healing virtue. Thank you for setting free your people. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are prayed. Amen. A louder amen. Amen. In the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are prayed. Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen. As I was praying, the Holy Spirit brought to my attention. Most of us, most of the medical expenditure are one of the ways the devourer devours. Mm. Now the Lord brought to me now a situation that was confessed as a testimony by one girl that the Lord used me one time to deliver from marine uh, spirit witchcraft. And she confessed to me that they have doctors who are under satanic control. Some are directly part as agents some are indirectly but they are under the control as blind witches and wizards that the devil through the spirit of infirmity will afflict and influence you when you go to those hospitals to those doctors all the expenditure you are doing there is going to their kingdom mm. mm -hmm. So most of the pharmacies and the doctor's expenditures you do are the avenue where a lot of the finances of people are being stolen. So also in that way, the Lord needs to help us walk to trust and believe in divine healing. Amen. And wholeness. Amen. So that we naturally we reduce unnecessary expenditure from that but also there are even situations that can never have any cure medically naturally scientifically but above all it is also the reason why we have to be careful to be faithful in tithing yes. because even when you are believing god for healing and wholeness in your life and body there are altars that can still be speaking stronger based on those weaknesses of disobedience. So now by this revelation as the Holy Spirit has brought this to my attention, I'm going to pray for healing. Every one of you, wherever you are, any part of your body that is sick, lay your hands on that part. You can lay your one hand on that part. If there is no particular part, you just lay your hand on your chest, representing where your blood or whatever is flowing. The word of the Lord declares, according to Isaiah 53, verse 5, by his stripes we are healed. So because we have believed in Jesus Christ, we are healed. Therefore, you have been healed. I have been healed. Amen. First Peter 2 24 says, By whose stripes you were healed. Amen. And Matthew 8 17 confirms that Christ took our infirmities, bore our sicknesses, which include all diseases and allergies, pains, afflictions. And Matthew is confirming what the prophet Isaiah said in Isaiah 53, verse 4 that he surely he, the Lord Jesus, has borne our griefs which means sickness and all forms of affliction and has carried our sorrows which means pains and so if God is honoring the word of his prophets the word of Isaiah is honored in our lives that Christ has carried has borne has taken away our past tense 
So they don't have to be, we have to rebuke, we have to rebuke. So now, wherever you are laying your hands, Father, by the authority in your word, thank you for the provisions of healing and thank you for making us whole. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Even as your apostles and disciples in the early church in the book of Acts chapter 4 prayed that you will grant them boldness to continue to preach your words so that you continue to by stretching your hands to heal will prove the evidence of your love to heal and to deliver with signs and wonders. Father, thank you for healing us through the stripes of Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Right now, you affliction, you infirmity, you spirit of infirmity, I exercise authority over you by the blood of Jesus. And I command you now, spirit of infirmity, lose your hold over those lives. Lose your hold from those bodies. Lose your hold from everybody. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I exercise authority over you spirit of infirmity you spirit causing sickness and disease i exercise authority over you spirit of darkness spirit of lies you torment and i command you you have hold over these bodies be loose now in the name of our lord jesus christ amen i declare you are whole and grip over anyone under the sound of my voice be loose now in the blood of our lord jesus christ Amen. by the blood of jesus i command you devils of infirmity lose your grip over these bodies lose your grip over these souls in the name of our lord jesus christ amen right now speak to that sickness in your body whether it's diagnosed as cancer i command you cancer come out of that body in the name of our lord jesus christ Amen. I command you diabetes come out of that body in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. I command you tumor come out of that body in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. I command you headache disappear from that body in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. I command you blood disease blood condition right now expire from that body in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. everything that has a starting date has an expiring date amen today i want you to believe to be the expiring date of that affliction that infirmity that disease in your body in the name of our lord jesus christ amen by that hand you lay i agree and i stretch my hands as the lord jesus said you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover let there be recovery over that body you are laying your hands right now I call for your body to begin to recover to total wholeness in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. By the authority in the name of Jesus, I command that ear, that ear that you are having difficulty to hear, that left ear right now, open and begin to hear in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I speak to you that ear that is not hearing well. Be open now begin to hear in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I speak to you that leg that is swollen and paining. Right now, I command the swelling be dissolved. I command the pain to die in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I command that pain to cease off that waste right now. I declare your body free from any form of affliction. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive it and give God thanks in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive it and give God praise in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive your healing and wholeness. Receive your healing and give him thanks. Ah, receive strength over those legs now. I see somebody walking from the difficulty to walk. I see somebody walking from the difficulty to walk. Jump out of that bed and begin to walk right now. Jump out from that seat and begin to walk normally right now. I see that ear open. Let it be open. Let it be open. Let it be open. Kabaru Satya Kampalare. I remove that crush. Let the hand of the Lord hold you strong. Let the hand of the Lord hold you, son. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord. 
Give him thanks. 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 His word is true. His promises are yea and amen. Whatever he said he has done, he has done. By his stripes we are healed. We are healed. Christ took and bore on our behalf every infirmity. All forms of griefs, sickness, disease. All forms of sorrows, pains. And so be it. He has sent his word and healed them. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. His word has come your way. Receive that healing and wholeness. And be delivered completely from that destructive position. Turn on your feet and begin to walk if you could not walk. Move and begin to do that which you could not do. Believe the word of the Lord above every medical doctor report. In the name of our Lord Jesus the Christ. Father, we thank you that the devourer will not devour your people again. Amen. All devouring situations concerning our lives through medication and unnecessary expenditure. Father, let them be reversed. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Clap your hands and praise him as you give him praise. Clap your hands and praise him as you give him praise. Thank him for your freedom. Father, we bless your holy name. Shakota Bandi and Katali. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. For setting us free today for restoring to all our stolen blessings i see the angels of restoration bringing back to you that which has been stolen from you i see the angels of restoration bringing back the world and resources stolen from you i see the angels of restoration bringing back to you that which has been stolen in the past even the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, the locust, the palmer worm has eaten. The Lord God Almighty is restoring those years. Thank you, Lord. Almighty is restoring them. Thank you, Father, for the open doors. Thank you, Father, for all the open We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. We give you all the adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we have entered the new month, which is the month of April. Yes. You're going to pray this prayer and I will decree and put a seal over you prophetically. Every blessing God ordained for the month of March that you are still lacking. Let the angels of restoration restore that blessing to you now. Amen. 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 Say my father, my God. My father, my God. As I pray now, let all the blessings you have ordained for your children for the month of March, which I am still lacking, be restored to me now. Angels of divine restoration. Move on my behalf and restore to me now all the blessings obtained for the righteous by Jehovah God and His Christ in the month of March, which I am still lacking. Angels of divine restoration. Restore the blessings to me. Restore my Arias blessings. 
restore to me every blessing for the year 2023 from the month of January to the month of March which I am still lacking angels of restoration restore them to me now restore them to me now restore them to me now lift up your voice clap your hands and pray call for the restoration of all the blessings all your areas blessings everything jehovah our god my father you have ordained for us in the year 2023 whatever blessings for the righteous for the redeemer for you said christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law and now we are blessed with the blessings after the order of abraham in christ jesus which includes riches life health abundant life i call forth all my areas blessings for the year 2023 from the month of january oh my god and father i deploy the angel as ministering spirit go now and minister for us every blessings ordained for me for the righteous that i'm still lacking in the month of january february march angels of restoration restore them to me restore them to god's people restore them to us every blessing that i am lacking all my rest blessing right from the time i was conceived in my mother's womb till now angels restore them to me restore them to us restore every blessing we have lost le kaparandia kateleba esian kateleba in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ amen in the mighty name of our lord jesus the christ amen a louder amen amen a more louder amen amen, amen. Now I decree over you prophetically. Every blessing God has ordained for the righteous, for his children, for the people. In this year 2023, from the months of January, February, and March, which you are still lacking, I activate the angels of divine restoration. To restore them back to you in full. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I decree. Let the angels of God. As it is written. Are they not all ministering spirits. Send forth to minister. For them that shall be his salvation. And the Lord said yes they are. Send forth to minister to assist us. Who are in the beneficiary who inherited salvation. Amen. Therefore, I activate the angels as the ministering spirit to minister for you now and restore to you all your areas blessings. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Every blessing of God in this year 20, 2023, you are still lacking. Let the angels minister and restore them back to you now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Every blessings of God for the righteous in the month of February you are still lacking. Let the angels restore them to you now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Every blessings of God in the month of January that you are still lacking. Let the angels restore them back to you now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I demand you angels of the living God to minister for everyone under the sound of my voice by the grace of god minister and restore to them all their arrears blessings let every blessing they have lost even right from the time they were conceived in their mother's womb let them be restored to them now angels restore to their people i decree all the blessings you have lost right from the time you were conceived in your mother's womb even from the time you were born until now every blessing of god you have lost 
I activate the angels to minister them to you for total restoration. Amen. Receive them in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive your arias blessings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive all your balance blessings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you. Go ahead and give your thanks. Give him thanks for the restoration of your lost arias blessings. Give him thanks for restoring to you. Give him thanks. Kobanaria, e kamparadiane, o seketende, bakatoleba, e shandoloba, segedegelea. Father, we give you praise. Give him thanks, give him praise, give him glory, give him honor. You deserve all the glory. Oh Lord, all glory, all honor be ascribed to you now and forever. You deserve the glory. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let this number four month come to you with complete package of God's blessings. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As the month of April being the number four month, and Jesus grew in the four dimension, He grew in wisdom, in Amen. stature, in favor with God and in favor with man. Yes. I activate the complete perfect development of God to come upon you in this month of April. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the hand of the Lord by the spirit of wisdom come upon you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I activate the four dimensional spirit of divine education to come upon you in this number four month in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Therefore, be filled with the spirit of wisdom in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Be filled with the spirit of understanding in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Be filled with the spirit of counsel in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Be filled with the spirit of knowledge in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The month of April is packaged for you with divine light of the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and counsel of the Lord Jesus Christ from his teachings by the spirit of truth and the word of truth. Receive the four dimension package of the spirit of divine education in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive the four dimension package of the spirit of life from the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. By the blood of Jesus, receive it. By the blood of Jesus, receive it. It's released to you now. Go in the light and let every darkness before you disappear. Let every darkness around you disappear. Let every darkness within and around you, in front, behind, beside, disappear. Amen. Hallelujah. So this month of April is the month of the light of Christ for you. The divine light. The month of the divine education. The education of Christ by light. The four dimensional spirit of the light of Christ. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of understanding. The spirit of counsel and the spirit of knowledge. It's all released to you in this number Amen. four month. In the Amen. name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That is your portion and the word of the Lord for you. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. 
is your anchor scripture begin to be worshipful and be continuously refilled with this four dimensional spirit which is culminating the spirits of Christ's education as light let your ability to study the word to understand will be different in this month of April and that dimension will only increase in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. I pray that every one of you that was imparted by the spirit of wisdom and understanding during the special prayer program may the Lord continue to use you and show the manifestation of that impartation in the life of those within and around you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. let there be evidence of testimonies in your life because of that impartation let the oil you receive continue to be manifesting the anointing that destroy every yoke of barrenness of the mind in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. let you continue may you be free from everything that subjugate you and not let you be free from today the truth of God will continue to make you free. If you believe it, shout the more believing amen. amen. Shout the loudest amen. amen. Let's give the Lord a clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. So we thank God for today. If there is anybody on the Zoom with a testimony, you can indicate and share your testimony before we close. If anybody has a testimony, you can indicate and share your testimony before we close. Joshua, let me get that gallery. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, so if there's no testimony, may the grace of God continue to keep you. May the peace of Christ continue to guide, direct you, and give you fulfillment. May the hand of the Lord continue to hold you, and the Son of Righteousness continue to shine with healings in His wings on your behalf. Amen. May the voice of the Spirit of Truth continue to be clear and clearer in your spirit, man. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You are blessed upon your going out and coming in. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the field. You are blessed in your business, in your job, in your marketplace. You are blessed. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Good morning, every one of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.